G'day guys, Butcher Benny T here with another um, video for you. Gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, got me apprentice here, Darcy. Say g'day, Darcy. There we go. Um, today we're gonna go out um, and I'm gonna show you um, how, to, how to catch a few rabbits um, with the ferrets and then how to, um, how to dress them out to eat them. So for this, um, need a few a few different bits and pieces. I've got a little, I've got a cage that I put them in to keep them alive because I don't do them until I get back home just to keep them fresh. Although it's it's pretty cold today anyway, so as you can see, I'm fairly rugged up. It's bloody, we're in winter, so it's pretty cold. So um, anyway, but I still like to do them at home. Um, a bit of purse net. I use a purse net that we put over the holes. I'll show you how I set them, but um, that's just a simple purse net you use for the rabbits. Um, put it over the hole, rabbit hits it, string pulls tight, he's locked in, there it is, we'll use that, and then of course, we need a couple of other um, apprentices, a few ferrets, so I've got four ferrets today, three bucks and a, uh, three does and a buck, um, I prefer when I'm, when I'm getting them to, getting the rabbits to eat, I prefer to use the does, they're a little bit, a little bit less hard on the rabbits. They tend to move them a bit easier, so um, I like to use the does, but I've got a buck anyway. If they're a bit stubborn today, he'll get them moving. Um, anyway, we'll get out, set up, and, and see how we go. Righty-o, so I'm all set up on the first burrow here. Got my bag of nets. Ferrets in there, good to go. Cage to put the rabbits in. It's just a three-hold burrow. There's one net. Two. Three, nice easy little burrow. As you can see, how I put the net on. Over the hole, cover the whole hole. There it is. Pegs in the ground. Rabbit will hit that and get caught up. So I'll grab a ferret out and we'll see how we go. Righto, so I'll put the two does in this one. We'll see how we go.
Right, so I've been here for about an hour and a half now. Um, this is the end end result. Done about five or six burrows, I think. Ended up with eight, eight rabbits, um, all good size. Um, it took a little bit of getting going. Um, ferrets held me up on a couple, but not too bad. Um, as you can see here, on the back of this one, that's what the ferrets do to them in the hole, trying to get them to bolt. Um, ferret was down for a little while, and they just scratch at them. And eventually this one come out. Anyway, we'll move on to the next next part now. I'll get these home and then I'll um, I'll take you through how I go about um, cleaning them to eat, it, eat them. Right, so I've just got back home after catching those few rabbits. Um, now I'm going to show you how I go about um, cleaning them. I'll show you a couple of ways. Um, I'll show you how how I'd do it if if I had a shot them, if I had a, if I had a come home dead. And then I'll show you the way I do them when I bring them home alive and then dispatch them. So we'll start with the, um, start with the first one. For me to dispatch these, I hold them up by the back leg and give them a swift hit across the back of the ears and then just pull them back and bleed them out. So that's how I go about it. Um, anyway, if I had shot this and I was, I was out, in, out the bush and I shot him, I'd gut him. So you want to just put your knife just under there, enough to under the skin and then just run your knife up the inside of there spin him around up that way and then if you put your knife straight through his straight out his bum you'll split him open straight through the hips like, like that and you want to hang him lift him up now there's a couple of things especially with wild rabbits to make sure they are fit to eat Number one is their organs. So you have a look at their heart, um, kidney, kidneys, make sure they're a good colour, and of course the liver. If all those are a nice red, pink colour, you know you're pretty right. The other one, before you even get them, you want to have a look at their eyes. Check they've got good, clear eyes. If all that's above board, you're pretty right, dude. Anyway, to get the guts, I just grab out behind the, the, the liver with my hand, pull that out. Throw that away. Just get his poo shoot out. Like that. You just pull that out of there. That's pretty clean. Leave the kidneys in if you want, or take them out. I'll take them out. Right out. Now this is how I'd skin them once they're once they're gutted, and if I was and if I wanted to keep the skin like to tan it or or back back when I was a young bloke who used to sell them. So this is how I'd skin them. So you, you get your knife. Just go up the inside of his leg there. Other side, same. Up there like that. And just lift him up with your thumb. Just work in behind his, behind that leg muscle. Pull that skin up, and that'll just break off. Pull that away. Same as the other side. Grab onto that. Just gotta work it with your hands off him. Pull that out, up there, pull that bit, of, that bit of skin from between his legs, back to his tail. Now get to there, the tail's not much good, so get him to there, just get your knife, that'll just cut straight off like that. Then you just want to pull the skin down, side by side, not side to side, like that. Pull him up. Get to his front legs so his elbows are sticking out. If you put your thumb in behind his elbow, that leg will pull through there. Pull that through. That one as well. Just pull that through to there. There's his head. I've broken his neck when I hit him. Skin's off. Throw that away. Then what you want to do, you can either um, Find a joint in these or just snap them. It's up to you. I'll find a joint there. Any joint on these is fine. That one. Or you can just pull them back. Here's the other joint. The front one's probably just easier to, to break them with your hands. Over, break that. Over, break that. There he is. Then all you gotta do. Jump through there, grab onto his lungs, his heart, a bit of blood there. 
There's his heart. That all looks good. That's a good, good clean rabbit for eating. Chuck him in there. I'll give that. I'll take them inside and give them a good wash in clean water and, and soak them before I before I cook them. Right out. Now the other one. This is how I generally skin all my rabbits because I'm not interested in skins and they're not worth anything in sell anymore. So this is the best way I reckon to skin them. Just grab hold of his back like that. Stick your knife through. This is cut. If you grab onto through that cut and pull that. Through there. Grab the other bit. Through there. Same again, get to their elbows. Through there. Through there. Pull that head off. Done. Right out. Then the gutter. Knife just under that. Under the meat again. That'll just lift up. Again. Good kidneys. Good liver. So she's all good. Pull that out. Grab your knife again. Back through that pelvic bone. That'll just cut straight through with your knife. That's no worries at all. Get the rest of that poo shoot out of there. Get rid of that other kidney. Pull that bit of skin that was left there with the tail. Cut that tail off. Now the legs. Break that one. That one. That one. That one. Then all we've got to do, once again, break through that little wall, grab the lungs and the heart out, make sure they all they're all good. Lungs look good, heart looks good. Another good rabbit. A little bit of blood on it, but that'll clean up in the water. Righty, hey guys, so there you have it. That's how I go about catching and um, cleaning my rabbits that I eat. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Had the, had the little apprentice, he's gone missing for now. He, the works work hasn't finished and he's disappeared, but anyway. Um, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like. Um, share this if you like and subscribe to my page if you haven't already and thanks for watching guys cheers